In this episode you'll see work progress readying the first hull half for the vacuum infusion process, starting with the final cleaning and repair of the Hurricane Ian damaged glass and carbon fiber fabrics, the installing of new peel ply and flow mesh media, installing of the vacuum and epoxy feeder lines, applying the vacuum bagging material, and readying the vacuum pump. The first leak test resulted in reaching 35% vacuum created, which is way better than expected for a vacuum bag this large. After finding the most obvious leaks pretty quickly, a 50% vacuum was obtained. Now it's getting more difficult and much more tedious to find the remaining leaks and eliminating them. This has to be done with the help and use of the ultrasonic leak detection device, a task which is extremely time-consuming due to the large, approximately 40-square-yard big, vacuum bag envelope, but it will be and must be done before the infusion process can begin. Meanwhile another problem due to supply chain interruption, or just sloppy management has arisen, the special low viscosity vacuum infusion epoxy with extended two hours pot life was out of stock at all American supply companies, so we had to order it from a China based company in Shanghai, which came out to be a blessing in disguise due to the fact that we got exactly what we needed only four days after we ordered it via UPS air cargo delivered to our door. And I have to emphasize that it was a pleasure dealing with the very friendly, responsive, and knowledgeable people at CA Composites in Shanghai.